Hello, this is going to be a video talking about some of the differences between the 3x3x4 and the 3x3x5 cubes that I purchased recently off of eBay. I have some other videos such as the unboxing videos and reviews for these two cubes um, if you want um, information on where to buy them and such um, things like that. So if you want to go ahead and look up those other videos, the unboxing videos or the review videos, um, you'll find the information there. This is simply a video talking about a little bit of the differences between both of them. So maybe um, if you hadn't bought them yet and you were thinking about it, you can make a more educated choice. Um, both of the cubes um, are relatively cheap. Um, I got the 3x3x4, 3x3x5 and another cube um, for um, seventeen dollars. Uh, I mentioned it in my other videos that it was somewhere close to twenty, but I looked it up earlier and it was seventeen dollars. Um, so I mean, both of the the puzzles were relatively cheap. Um, but I mean, they work. But because of the fact that they're cheap, I I, I want to show you some of the things that are cheap about them. Let's just start with the cores here. I've taken apart both of these puzzles so I can show you the cores because. Um, the cores are very different from each other. Okay, let's let's do the three by four core. The three by four core, as you can see, is a black um, core in the center, and these center pieces um, are clipped onto it. What it is, this this black center has little pegs that stick out, and these white pieces right here, they kind of clamp onto the peg and they rotate. Um, it, the system works, but it's not it's not anywhere stable because of that. For example, you can see me st stretch it a little bit. You can also see me twist them up and down. Um, that just goes to show how unstable the core is, and it, it, it can move around. Yeah, so you can see there the piece is prying apart. Um, by the way, that's this is not a cube for you cube. I just put stickers on there. Um, so you can see it's very loose and because of the fact that it's very loose I mean it, it cuts corners a little bit and it gives it some um, flexibility I guess you could say but it definitely structurally is lacking and it's very weak structurally like a lot of times you'll feel like the puzzle is going to break also because of the fact that it's not stable it tends to lock up so it, it it's kind of weird um, it helps you cut corners, but it also makes it lock up. So it's it's kind of I don't know. It's it's very strange in the in the way that it does that. Um, so it's not screw spring structure. It's not even screw structure. It's like plastic peg clip on structure. <laughs> kind of weird. But okay, let's go to the three by five core. The three by five core is definitely an improvement on the three by four core. Um, it is screw structure. Um, I think that there's springs in here because I can pry the pieces a little bit, but um, it's it's hard to to tell. There could be, there could not be, but it definitely does have screw structure and a really really solid core. Uh, this white plastic core is is very stable and it's very nice. Um, just overall, the three x five is a lot better than the three x four. Um, as you can see. Both, well, you may not might not be able to see, but both of these puzzles, um, you can um, adjust the tension. Uh, actually, the three by four, I mean, there's holes in the center caps. Like, like what it is is it doesn't use a cap; it uses a, a hole in the middle of the puzzle, and you peel off the sticker, and you can adjust the tension. But I mean, this is I don't know how you would adjust the tension in this, but I, I guess if you wanted to try, you could peel off the sticker and, and give it a look, and maybe you could adjust adjust it somehow but I haven't tried um, but this one does have screw structure so you can definitely um, adjust the screws the only problem is because it has these glued on pieces you can't like adjust it like this piece right here is really flimsy and loose but I can't tighten it because it has this extended cap on it and it doesn't use caps it uses a hole so there's no way for me to get to the hole without breaking off this this little extended piece so that's a kind of flaw in the the hole theory um, but nonetheless, um, it does, going back to this cube, not this one, um, it does have screw structure, which makes it a lot more stable. Um, when the cube is together, it cuts corners a lot better, and it 
it just feels better in your hands. It feels more solid. It feels like an actual cube versus this cheap plastic like thing. And don't get me wrong, they both work and I mean it's not I don't want to say it's the worst cube ever because that makes it sound bad, but I mean I guess it technically is the worst cube ever because there's better there's much better quality cubes out there, but that doesn't mean they're bad by all means. Um but they definitely could be better. So now that I've talked to you about the cores a little bit, um, let's go ahead and put the two cues back together and we'll go from there.